I started off doing street art in New York, and then I got really heavily into graffiti, started painting large-scale walls, and so now I'm sort of a muralist, I suppose. My experience with graffiti in New York led me to found that there were very few women in the scene. So I sort of took it upon myself to bring the woman into the public sphere. So a lot of my work consists of powerful, strong women. You know, I know that I really loved RBG, but I don't think I knew that so many people would also love to see a big piece of her. But I got a call from Simon Isaacs, who was behind the Hope poster with Obama, and he said, we really want you to do a big mural in New York for her. So I'm stoked to be able to honor her, and it's cool to see all these people saying, yeah, this is really cool. We're super happy to have her up there. I like to think I could sit there and just channel RBG. RBG, what would you like this painting to look like? But I wanted something that I thought really honored her in a really respectable way. So not too wild, but super colorful to allow the viewer to know that this is a celebratory piece. Female empowerment and equal opportunity. RBG was one of the trailblazers of that her character and what she stood for. It's an incredible example of what we should all aspire to. I think it's really great to have this big piece of her so young girls could see who she is and get to know her as a role model. People of power get to be on big billboards and in big places. A young girl might see herself in that mural and say, I belong there in a place of power. Mm -hmm.